guys. So this is episode two of Living Room Conversations and we had the wonderful pleasure of interviewing both Josh and Jack Walker from Walker's Archive and go check them out. We hope you guys enjoy. Hi. Hi. Oh Hi. Look, we can the volume up. Okay, how are you guys? Very good. How are you doing? We're doing good. I'm Valentina, by the way. I'm Valeria. And... Okay. Josh, Jack. I'm, I'm Jack. This is Josh. It's yeah. sweet. I love his outfits, by the way. Yeah, you guys have to do this. That's like not... It's no, not... that's all right. We, we just threw this on. Okay. Yeah. So yesterday we were literally geeking out at all our guys' like yeah. <laughs> photography stuff. So would you guys like mind telling us like what is the Walker's Archive to you guys? Do you want me to answer it? Okay. okay. So we kind of were asking ourselves the same question recently because, you know, it started out as an idea to just have an account where we could post a lot of stuff that we didn't necessarily use or stuff that, you know, um, content or photos we made that didn't really make the final cut. And then we were going to post a lot of lifestyle stuff. And then it kind of developed into like almost a design house where now we're working on graphics, we're working on um, stickers, pins, that sort of thing. And we're hoping to within the next few years, launch it into a full um, design house where people could hire us to do graphics, people would hire us as a team to do photo and video. And maybe um, we're kind of thinking about merchandising. We're just kind of, uh, we're on the fence about it right now. We have a lot of friends that do a lot of brand work. So I think in the future, that'll be a thing. You'll see a lot of like maybe merchandise from us. But as of now, I feel like the best way to describe it is like a sort of media design um, partnership, I think. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. No, oh, that's so cool. Um, we were checking out. I think I think it was who was it? Who was it? The skateboarding video. Oh, it's probably me. Dude, it was so cool. Yeah, literally. The one in New York, or was it the one? It was the one in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So that one was random. That just like happened all at once. I thought it was gonna be longer, and then it snowed, so I made it really short. So that was really fun. I'm glad you like that one. No, it's awesome. And have you guys always lived in California? I know you guys said that you guys are based there currently. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, Orange County. Orange San County. Diego. And then um, Josh went to school in San Diego, and I'm currently going to school in San Diego. So I, I split. I'm part-time Orange County, part-time San Diego, and now he's full-time San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're yeah. maybe we'll relocate, but who knows? As of now, we're kind of, we're California, here. no. Okay, so I have, I have a question. Um, one of my biggest influences, like I really want to be a writer, was uh, Damien Chazelle. He's a director. He did La La Land. Um, that was my first like big influence to wanting to do something like that. Do you guys have somebody that like was your biggest influence that like made you guys want to do this? I can name yours. Well, you go first. I mean, I, I know mine. I know yours. I think, um, yeah, so... I started like taking photos when I was younger. Um, I've always taken photos, but then it wasn't towards high school. It wasn't until high school that I started like taking it seriously. And I had an influence of mine who was a photographer, his name is Zamar. And he was just a big mentor to me and um, kind of showed me the ropes a little bit. And then through that, I've developed um, other mentors. Like one of my teachers, his name is Josh Watson. Um, I would say those two have kind of shaped my eye and shaped like sort of my tastes. And then from that, I've met like a lot of amazing people. But I would say those two right now are like um, sort of mentors and influences. And then I think like there's a lot of artists I just like idolize. But I think those two guys specifically kind of got me into the field I'm at right now. And they kind of like pushed me into what I'm doing. I don't know about Josh though. Mine was Strobeck from Supreme. I think before that though, oh, it was just on my mind. I just, like just blanked. You had like Kyle as well. Yeah, but no, I think like for filming it was Strobeck and then like watching all of those skate videos got me super hyped on skateboarding and then I got into snowboarding and it was just like, there's a guy named Cooper Vosberg and that guy is I think Detroit and it's just like super core. So it was just like seeing that and like being exposed to that. It's a lot of good filming for like really crazy areas that like I've never been to. So it's cool to see it through that lens. So that got me hyped on filming. I think photo, he just got me hyped on photo because he would always like dish out photos to me and be like, you should do this. You should try to do this. And I was like, all right, maybe I'll try. Yeah. So the, yeah, I think those two are my biggest influences. And Truman Hallstrom. Oh, my best friend is like the greatest artist I've ever seen. 
Truman's insane. I don't think I hope I hope one day he starts to do more public art because he keeps it pretty private, but his art is insane. Yeah. That's so awesome. On that same note, do you guys have any like dream collaborations you guys hope to do in the future? I think like as of now, um, we're kind of taking it how it goes, but it's hard to say. I think we both want to work for maybe a big fashion house or maybe um, like a design studio we want to collab with. But off the top of my head, I don't know any specific names and I don't want to like say their names and like, you know, like publicize it. But I, I think definitely uh, we have big ambitions of working together um, and hopefully we can do that on a paid route and we can work for hopefully like cool companies and maybe artists we've looked up to but i don't think there's any off the top of our head that we've, we've like really collaborating with because we both have really different tastes and i think um our tastes definitely overlaps but as of now we're just taking it how it is and just trying to do like little projects together and help each other out in like whatever way we can because we both have different routes we have a lot of like different things going on so we, as of now, we're trying to help each other when we can, and then hopefully in the future we can step into full time work together. Yeah, I feel like well, I feel like when our circles do like overlap, we'll work together on a bunch of stuff. Like when we travel and stuff, that's when we put a bunch of our stuff out that's like with each other. Mm -hmm. I want to like, I feel like Caden Garrett is like, I like, yeah. I like everything he makes. He's one of our friends. I like working around him because he's always he has like a thousand things in his head that like he's trying to work out like and put out. And it's so cool because when they come out, it's just like, mm -hmm. I just feel like he's such a good artist in general. Everything he puts out is good. Yeah. And, on, and Luca, Luca is killer. Yeah, we work with uh, this company called Beans Magazine a They're lot. Crazy. I love And Beans. we both like work for them with photo and video. And the head guy that runs it, um, his name's Luca. He's a good friend of ours. We actually played high school baseball with him. But he he's like one of the craziest creatives you've ever met. And We've he's both been really hyped on him recently and he's been taking off like working with a ton of really cool artists and um, we have like we both have different it's funny because we both work with him but separately yeah we've never worked so, together I don't think, right? so we have yeah we have like <laughs> it's funny. I have a certain project going with him right now and he has a different project with him but he's one of our like I would say greatest friends and collaborators so yeah. big shout out to Beans Magazine <laughs> yeah, That's so cool. do you guys have any like recent projects right now instagram everything yeah i feel like really. i haven't i don't really have much to hide i've just been putting most of my stuff on instagram uh yeah, everything's on instagram still like right now. i think like i'm working on like a video like just a more of a personal project but i don't really know if that'll be in the public or not i just i have to see how it goes but as of now i feel like we've both been working a lot so we haven't been able to do as many like creative projects but I think there's definitely anything you see on Instagram is probably me what we're working on currently. We both are pretty public about, you know, what we do. It just depends on the timing. You know what I mean? Well, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I, we're just like filming random things. We're like, we're like, we're, we're working on something right now that we're literally, we're about to walk out for. And we're like, oh, we totally like forgot the timing. So we're like, oops. But we were going to go film something in the park, but that's just more like random creative kind of not personal work bits. The, I feel like a creative work, Italy next. Yeah. We're trying to Italy, do Italy, Italy in January, in January. So that'll be more, that'll uh, be crazy. that'll be more that's like personal like, yeah. creative stuff than it would be like a project that's paid. But I would say, uh, we're definitely getting ready for that. So hopefully January Italy yeah. is like a thing, which will come quicker than we think. I feel like, yeah. Where do you guys feel more like inspired? That'd be, that's like that. Where? What'd you say? Like, where do you guys? I'm so sorry. I think I cut you guys off. But like, where do you guys feel yeah. most inspired? Where? That's a good question. Know. I think we both Anywhere? make a lot of. We both make a lot of work when we're in New York. Um, I I do a lot of street photography, so I feel like anytime I'm in a city, um, it's like a whole mm. new canvas. And whether it's like San Diego, New York, LA, um. I feel like whenever, even Milan, when I'm in a city, it's like a brand new blank canvas. And I feel like I'm inspired by just the environment around me. But I'm also inspired when I'm home. I Like when I'm living in Orange County, just because it's it's home to me. I have like my friends around, like supporting me. And I feel like I can just breathe. And when I can breathe, I feel like that's when like my best ideas come to mind. So I would say that. I don't know if you have a specific place if it's San Diego or not, but I think it's anywhere. I feel like... 
I find, I think my, my random, the most random ideas I get or like I'm inspired by come like when I'm just like scrolling through Instagram and that's literally anywhere. So I'm just like, I'll just be like, I just like on Instagram, like going through the popular page because you kind of, it's like a quick consumption of things. You're just like seeing like shorts and you just like, you kind of get a lot of a bunch of different things. And so like, I like different colors now than I did six months ago just because I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw people use those colors and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like maybe I'll try that or maybe I'll like use different lighting techniques that I saw. And I think that's interesting. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, You guys mentioned that you guys basically travel a lot. That's so cool. Um, Do you guys have like your favorite place other than New York? I know you guys mentioned that, that you guys <laughs> done work. Right. Yeah, I would say for me, I went to Milan last year and being in, being in Italy was like a huge a huge thing for me it was definitely new um you said call i've never been to colorado so that'd be more yeah colorado's insane mm -hmm. i feel like just a different scenery anywhere it's, i think because we go to a lot of cities and like being in orange county and growing like being there for because i was there for 18 years that's like where i grew up and then i've been here in san diego for like four both those places are similar but different there's a lot of like similarities but there's so many differences and so, like, being in cities a lot, like, San Diego's empty city, but it's a very popular and, like, dense place. But, like, it's like a, it's not, it's not like New York where it's, like, this huge spot that's just super, super densely packed. It's more like a large population group spread throughout a larger mass. And it's interesting because it's, like, going to Colorado, it's empty. You go to the mountains, it's empty. And it's snowing and it's white and it's not sunny. And it's snowing where I think, I feel like we didn't really grow up on snow. No, nah, I've, I've only seen snow like three times, I think. But I feel like some of the, my favorite things that have made there have been with, like one of my best friends in Boulder. Because I'd go visit him and we'd just go to the mountains and just wander around because it was something that was foreign to me. And we used to shoot photos and like snowboard and ski. Pretty great. That's like the, that's seclusion right there. It's the best. Do you guys like capturing people the most or like landscapes? everything I, I would say like i probably lean towards oh, people um i have like a lot of landscapes that i like and i have like a lot of like photos of landscapes i like but i kind of lean towards people more because i started out as a portrait photographer and i still think i am um but yeah i think i would say people the environment and the landscape makes a huge it plays a huge role in my photos but i don't think it's the focus unless yeah. what do you think i don't know for you it's completely i don't know how you see it yeah. i i think i don't know i kind of Maybe I do a lot of one thing and don't realize it. I honestly haven't like thought about it all that much, but I just like, I'll have my camera like somewhere over there, but it's like this tiny little point and shoot that you can put in your pocket. And I usually carry that around everywhere and I try to shoot like one roll a month. So like when I see like random things, maybe it's people like maybe, like I've been shooting a lot of like nine by 16 of these. Is that a big uh, ratio? Yeah, I'm like not sure. Instagram one. I've been flipping my camera and using that because I was just like, I'll just, I want to dish out a lot of like photos that I want to put up, but I also kind of like that portrait style because um, it's kind of interesting. But I've been shooting a lot of landscape, like horizontal, just mostly portrait, but like everything. Okay, so another question. Back to the videos that you guys have shot. Uh, we noticed the music taste and the fashion has a big role in it. Do you like? Do you guys do it like intentionally, or is it just it just happens? A little of both, right? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, like, I feel like sometimes it depends because we, like, have done stuff at the Inconvenience Store, which is, like, a local bodega in Costa Mesa that, like, we just kind of grew up around. And Utah's the guy who runs it. And, like, we would, like, wear a lot of his clothes and it turned into us, like, shooting some stuff. And, like, when we went to New York, like, he kind of, like, dressed us up. So it was, like, that I guess was kind of planned, but like at the, at the same time, we just kind of like wear stuff that we're into. Yeah, I think like music has played a huge role though. Yeah, um, music for sure. Depending, because I feel like it just depends on the mood. I always base the music I choose off the mood that I'm trying to aim at. Um, and I think it's always been a challenge with like copyright and um using the artist's rights and that sort of thing and trying to respect people's rights as artists. But um, I think music has played a huge role like emotionally. And it's sort of like fashion has just played a role of like who I am because I've, I've always been known for what I wear. So I feel like that kind of um, 
rubs off, but it's not really the center point. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't consider myself someone that like, I, I style a lot of the shoots I do, but it's not like the main um, focus of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Do you guys have any like, or who's are you guys like favorite artist? King Cruel. King Cruel. Oh, no, who's who's another great one? King Cruel's been great. Cruel's super good. Fuck. Uh, that's a look. I mean, like my Spotify recently has been all over the place. But I would say like we both know seeing King Cruel a lot, and then just like a lot like I've been listening to like the Alchemist a lot. Um, I, I really like him, and then like Blood Orange as an artist. Blood Orange is good. Um. In right. terms of like visual artists, like oh man, like Frank LeBone mm -hmm. has been awesome. He shoots a lot of like King Cruel's music videos. Um, Dexter and Navy's pretty great. Or another musical artist I really like is Dean Blunt. I've been like really, really Dean Blunt. Dean Blunt is like kind of the shit right now for me. <laughs> but I mean <laughs> that's 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 a lot of like music. Um, visual artists, it, it kind of just varies because like I've been in this guy named Roy Judy's photographer. It just depends on what I find, like, I love, like, collecting art books, so I'll kind of flip through stuff, and then, like, I'll kind of, I, I don't usually go deep dive onto one artist, I just have a, a collection of people that I like um, for different styles, but I would say Roy Jude's a great photographer, someone I've been looking at a lot, um, we both really like, like, Daniel Arnold, um, yeah, just, like, some of the greats, I feel like most of people's, like, favorites is kind of what we've been on recently, I feel mm -hmm. like, I've been on Denzel Curry. I think Denzel Curry's crazy. I think yeah, King Cruel is my number one. I always go back to that, and he dropped a new album. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I don't know. Like, music like Heather, is weird. Yeah, Heather's crazy. That's cool. Heather lives, like, I think somewhere. He's from San Diego, too, and so it's cool because it's like, oh, I feel like when we listen to him, it, it's just, like, weird. It's like, because you don't hear too many San Diego artists. It's really stupid. It was like Ocean Beach, and I used to live in Ocean Beach, so that was kind of cool listening to them, because you're like, oh, crap, you're like in their hometown. They fully still live there, and it's cool. But, like, I feel like visually, Wes Anderson, I always like Wes Anderson stuff. New movie, too. That one's, like, just every like from the colors to every, the way that everything's centered and shot, like, it's pretty interesting. Like, there's a video on Vimeo that's literally called Centered by – like some random person who collected the center clips of Wes Anderson's movies and they just like made a loop of it. And so it's cool to see that because you can see how like much he kind of like thought about things. Julian Quintovich, another San Diego guy. That guy is really cool. Like it's cool to be around because he has like the Swish projects and that's like really close to where we're at. So we can kind of see some of the art they put out. It's like pretty, it's pretty accessible to us. So when you kind of see that, like you just kind of get like influenced and like, inspired by some of the stuff they put out because you can kind of see what they're like what they're thinking of and it's like it's just weird it's just like i feel like i've, I've coasted mesa we were close to art stuff like that like with the inconvenience store yeah there's being around artists is just different because it's like if yeah you around yourself with people that are making things like bigger small like ever it's just cool to be around it because you kind of like it's you just, like, whatever, yeah you feed off each other you see what people are thinking of and you're kind of like oh that's really it's like a really yeah. interesting perspective. So. I would say like my favorite artists are always like my friends. Like yeah, I, I'll always sure. like promote my friends' work be before I promote anyone else. Like because um being like around friends that are like producing crazy, crazy works and like crazy pieces, it just like makes you so much more hyped to be around like them as a creative, but also just as a person. It just like you feed off their energy and it's nice to have creative people around you because it just pushes you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think Beans is like another like great like, visual example. Like from there, because I feel like if people like the stuff that we're doing, sometimes we do stuff that's kind of like we'll have like inspirations that we've done in our personal life that we've done for Beans. And we look at Beans as like media and it's like completely different than ours. Ours fits into it. And like when we put like produce stuff with them, it's like kind of like it's more collaborative and it's more like I feel like it's very like easier it's like way easier to see when it's collaborative because you kind of like we usually do it with each other so you know it's like one of us but um i feel like their music taste is so different than mine personally so when i hear their music on the videos they use and i see how they edit it's completely different. like my when i watch my friend edit like luca when he edits it's completely different than i edit and so when i see him edit i'm like oh he's just like so confused because i'm like you do it so differently than me like this crazy i didn't even think that was possible so you get inspired by that too because then you learn like things that other people like 
want to teach you or like have shortcuts for. It's kind of like, oh, that's nice. Just do that for free. What was it like your guys' earliest memory of like doing this? I guess you could say. I remember cool, I a one, one of my earliest memories is probably like one of the first times I went to New York. Um, we were probably like, I don't even think I was in the double digits yet. I might have been like nine. And yeah, I, I just had like a camera and I would just take pictures of like buildings because I really like <laughs> architecture. I still love architecture, but I would just like go and take pictures of like buildings. And I just had this like, I didn't even know how to get the, the photos off of the camera. I just had this like memory card of just like buildings. And then I would like go, um, once I got into like middle school, I would go into like Visco and just edit like oh, photos of like my buildings. <laughs> and I I think like, so probably back to when I was like, maybe even eight, but I would say like nine, I would just take pictures of architecture. And I think that's what made me love like traveling so much and seeing new architecture. But I would say like in terms of media and like photo and video, I probably, that was one of my earliest memories was just like, just taking photos of literal buildings, like, mm -hmm. and like my dog, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know about you. Dude, I remember mine, mine was so, it's so nerdy. I used to watch, like, you put my eyes out vlogs when I was like in eighth grade. Okay, so that's what I and I, I like fell in love and it's so corny that I, it's just, like, that's what actually started it. Like I love and respect everything Casey Nice said it does, but it's just such like a random way to fall into it. Cause I was like super like into vlogging with my friend Truman. We're in eighth grade. We were in San Francisco. We both had cameras. We're like, we, all we would do is binge watch Casey Nice that. And I think like, yeah. Ben Brown was the other. I don't know. Do you know? No, I don't know. I think it's an Australian guy. It's like I think that's. I think it was Ben. Yeah, Brown. You, would, you would film like you guys. I just, literally, like, yeah, we would literally just walk around, just like filming random things, and then turn the camera around and just like start. I don't. Even, I don't even know what we would talk about. Like, what do you talk about in eighth grade? Like, I don't know, <laughs> man. Like, I don't remember because we were we were we were literally like in this hotel room or like this Airbnb that was above like. An Indian cuisine restaurant. Like it was a full like wasn't that the one that was about above where Ty Siegel lived? I don't know. Maybe. I remember you stayed somewhere that that was like random, but I just <laughs> thought of that. But yeah, that's probably that's probably what was it for me. It was just like mine was eighth grade, like building photography. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Like I relate to the fact of the the vlogging or just like taking pictures of just random things. I think it's just like a very like innocent but like later on it's gonna lead you to that you know what i mean yeah it's nice to have for like keepsake Absolutely. memory you know that sort of thing i lost all of my footage i wish i had them i could laugh at myself all day <laughs> making fun of me <laughs> yeah no that's so sick um we're leading up to our final question but before we get there what, what do you want people to know about you like when they describe you when they talk about you what, what do you want it to be that's a really good question. I have no idea. I think, do you want to take it? I think like us or you? I mean, for for both of us, um, I think it's important that we just, that they know like, um, or at least for me, I could answer this. Like, I'm just doing it for the love of it, you know? Like there's no like money or like, um, and quote unquote like clout that would drive me to do this other than just like the pure passion of it and that's why like I prioritize a lot of personal work over like paid work is because I'm just doing it because I love it and I still have that joy and it's like a, a way to unplug and like be creative it's like an outlet I think I don't know about you but that's I mean if people were to ask me like what do you what's something I want people to know about me it's just like it comes from like a passion you know yeah I don't know I've never thought about that honestly I feel like it's a good question. It's like a weird question. Like, I don't know. I've never, I've never thought about it. Yeah. I think like, just like, I mean, I feel like when people meet me now, most people don't know exactly what I do for work. It's like, it's kind of nice because I'll just meet people then at the beach or something. And like, I'll be skating or surfing a lot. So that's kind of where I meet people. And so it's like when I meet people that way, it's that's just kind of what's assumed. Like I oh, just skate and like the creative stuff. Like one of the guys that I like, kind of like, I would run into him randomly, and I didn't even know he filmed. 
And then we ran each other to the skate park and then each other as friends and we were skateboarding together. And then I found out he was like filming. And then we were in New York at the same time and we were hanging out in New York. And it was just like, we were just both laughing about it. Cause like, it was like, we met each other skating. We we're super into the same exact things. And like, we never had known that we just would like kind of like small talk. And then like we ran into the skate park and that's what got us connected. And then it was like, Oh, we actually share this. So it's like, I don't know. It's like, I just, as long as people like know that I'm like kind and like very like, I, some people think I'm un, like, like when I went to college, people thought I was like unapproachable. So I thought it was funny because they're like, Oh, you seem very aloof. But it's like, no, like if you talk to me, like, I'm super down to have a conversation. I'm not, I don't mean to be standoffish, even if I look at it like, like that, but I don't know, just that, just like kind and happy. That's it. That's it for me. Yeah. This passion is so strong. It's such a beautiful thing to see. Like when we were seeing you guys' work, like it's one of a kind, like the music choices, the fashion and everything, like literally, like we could talk about it for hours. Like you guys are so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I like what you said about the clout. I feel like a lot of people right now are doing, like, I think they're just doing that. But you could tell, I think it's very refreshing. It's very refreshing. Yeah, it is funny. Like, people, like, a lot of people, like, want to do photos and stuff to be, like, close to celebrities. And I feel like at that point, you kind of turned into, like, a paparazzi, you know? <laughs> I mean, I was, I mean, I think when I was, like, younger, I wanted that. But then you it's kind so of realize cool. it's cool, but you realize you're, like, you're, like, okay, like, there's more to life and, like, your journey than just like being around celebrities you know like, I, don't, I don't want to be a groupie you know it would be cool to get cameos though and like if you act in this paparazzi and it's really annoying to see the reaction i think it's kind of interesting i would i don't think i could ever do that so just feel weird but yeah that'd be it's kind of i feel like that would be interesting seeing people's reactions yeah it's like sweet what do you guys see yourself in five years no idea yeah that's <laughs> no idea <laughs> day by day yeah, I don't even know where I see myself like next week. Honestly, <laughs> like I think uh, I'll probably be done with school. That'll be cool, but uh, I have no idea. Maybe I, I won't. Even, I don't even know if I'll be in the country. Maybe I like live in like Rio as like a a barista or something. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like yeah, because I, I, I just graduated college, so it's like it's a trip for me because I I didn't. First of all, it happened so fast, and then I was like, okay, like. I don't know where I see myself in five years. Like I'm just now realizing that being able to survive, like once you're out of college and you're like when doing things, like I feel like I've set myself up for this to work really well. Like being able to do freelance and like being able to carry like a really chill, just like part-time job and have that and still be able to do like everything that I want to do. is like blows my mind that I can actually do that and do what I do. Cause it's just like, it was like my dream as a kid once I picked up cameras, like I thought that was something only celebrities do. And then to realize that it's not, and like, I don't have to like be a celebrity to like do those types of things and be able to survive off of it was super cool. Cause I was like, Oh, this is a pretty accessible thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is accessible. Like, yeah. as accessible as it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, keep doing what you guys are doing. Don't stop. Thank like, it's, it's amazing. Thank you. It's crazy. It. Valentina found you guys through like TikTok. And really? I, <laughs> yeah. She found you guys through TikTok and I saw you guys' work. And I it's very different. At, what camera do you guys shoot? Like in at least the one that you guys didn't like one of you guys did in New York? That like it's very different. Uh New York. I, I did like a Fuji film point and shoot. Um and then I have a Fuji film XT3, which is like a digital. And then he was using like a point and shoot little camera. It's like a Nikon or something. No, it's a Samsung. It's like super. It's a Samsung seventy GZ. It's like super super old. It's yeah, we we don't use like anything really special. Yeah. Um, he was using Super Eight. Super Eight is probably yeah, like the most distinguished look. But yeah, I mean, I kind of use a plethora of like whatever's at hand. You I know use my I mean? iPhone a lot too. Yeah. I think. I think people undermine the iPhone. Yeah. I sure. I use like a ten for like. Mm -hmm. a lot like now i have the 14 pro and like if you have the access to get a 14 pro get a 14 pro because it's the best thing ever but like even your 10 that's like super super old is still like cool because you can just kind of see like that's how i built like my eye on things is because i'd see something i thought was cool and like not have a camera at my side and just shoot my phone mm -hmm. and then now that i have that like this iphone 
I can just shoot on it. And that just is like, oh, this is really nice. Like I can collect things and kind of like build a mood board throughout my day. Yeah. And just like you run into things that you just so like super stoked on. And like Instagram stories is my favorite thing because it's just like you see like random bits of things. Mm -hmm. Using the iPhone. Yeah. I would say that too. Yeah. Sweet. Well, thank you so, so much for letting us yeah. interview you. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate thank it. You so much. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Keep doing what you guys are doing. You guys are doing great. And have a great day. Yeah, yeah thank you too. You guys thank you so much. much. Bye. Bye.